Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to talk about Fujifilm cameras. Uh, I talked about this camera about a year ago, and back then I did like the camera, but it was a little pricey. Uh, basically, the body of the camera came in at $1,899, but there's something really unusual going on with this Fujifilm X-H1, and that is you can get this camera with the battery grip and three batteries for $1,299 now. Yes, it is now almost half price because the camera did cost $2,199. And what's really cool about this camera compared to some of the other Fuji cameras on the market, yes, uh, you can go to the X-T3 and get the newer uh, image sensor, but this camera has something that that camera doesn't have, and that's in-body stabilization. And you can see here with the uh, 35 millimeter prime that I have on the camera that uh, you have a stabilized camera because it has the built-in five axis stabilization in the camera. Another cool thing is you get, if you don't like to do a lot of uh, grading, uh, you get really, really nice uh, built-in picture profiles. And, you know, Fujifilm, uh, back in the film days, especially in the motion picture days, uh, I worked on a show and we used uh, a turn of film. And it that's what I used at the very top of the shot here. Uh, I love the Eterna profile. And it also includes other cinema profiles. So while as you can tweak the image a little bit, if you don't want to do any tweaking at all and you just want to just shoot and have a really good looking image well you can do that with the Fuji camera now here I'm showing the ports on the side of the camera you got a micro HDMI you got input jack for sound you also have a headphone jack you also have an AC in uh, you got it all right here and everything comes with it um, which is really nice um, it comes with all uh, the basically uh, it comes with a charger uh, an AC charger so you can leave the camera plugged in if you're gonna use it in your studio it's just a really, really nice setup. And Fuji has some really nice lenses over here. Uh, it comes with two SD card slots. Uh, it's just really great. When this camera came out, you know, you really needed the battery grip to really uh, make the camera work, especially for video. Um, but it's really great. And um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of dismantle it here so you can see. Now, the Fuji batteries are kind of underpowered. But the thing is, it comes with three batteries, and when you're running three batteries, you can actually run two in the grip. And uh, But what's really cool is unlike other cameras, you can actually put another battery uh, and leave it inside the body of the camera. And I'll show you that in a minute. But it's really nice that it comes with three batteries. And really, this camera can't be beat. I mean, basically, you have the uh, 24 megapixel uh, sensor from the X-T2, built-in five-axis stabilization. You got a 3.69 million dot LED viewfinder. The camera also does DCI 4K, as well as... Um, uh, uh, Ultra HD 4K uh, and slow motion 120 uh, frames per second and also will do internal F-Log capture. Fuji's also really good with firmware upgrades. They just came out with a firmware upgrade on this camera that solves a lot of issues, especially with the IBIS. And uh, that's really good, especially on a camera that's been out for a little while. Uh, they're really, really, you know, constantly updating the camera and that's really, really good. So, uh, I got to say, this is a fantastic bargain. No, there's not one camera that's going to do it all. But I really think at this price point and being able to do the DCI 4K and the built-in image stabilization, I really think this camera uh, deserves uh, a look um, if you're looking at a camera, especially with the film profiles. So guys, there's my quick look again at the Fuji X-H1. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and be sure to hit that like button. Thank you very much and have a great day.